Could you think of or imagine any form or shape in which you might support American uh, uh, military action, uh, which was taken in, uh, in uh, anticipation of, uh, like the president's justification, in anticipation of an imminent and dangerous threat to the United States? Not that the president, not just from the president, but can you conceive of any form in which you might support such action? Well, why don't you generalize it and say, can you conceive of any action which any state might take? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, you can imagine such things. I mean, suppose let's say you're in Iran right now. Okay, uh, Iran is, uh, I mean, that's a real problem. Iran is surrounded, first of all, it's under attack by the, by the world superpower uh, with embargoes, this, that, and the other thing. It's surrounded by states either occupied by the, its superpower enemy or having nuclear weapons. Uh, a little way down the road is the regional superpower, which has hundreds of nuclear weapons and other weapons of mass destruction and is essentially an offshore U.S. military base uh, and uh, has the biggest air force and technologically most advanced air force in NATO, more than any NATO power outside the United States, and in the past year has been supplied by the global superpower uh, with a hundred advanced uh, jet bombers openly advertised as able to fly to Iran and back to bomb it uh, and also provided with what the, I'm talking about Israel uh, um, uh, that uh, provided with what the Hebrew press calls special weaponry well nobody knows what that means but if you're an Iranian intelligence analyst you're going to give a worst case analysis of it of course and has actually been publicly provided with smart bombs and deep penetration weapons and so on. I mean, you know, they have a terrific justification for anticipatory self-defense, uh, better than any other case I can think of. But do I approve of it? Like, would I approve of their uh, bombing uh, Israel or carrying out terrorist acts in Washington and so on? No. Even though they have a pretty strong case, better than anything I can think of here. Uh, just as the Japanese had a much better case than any that I can think of here, but I don't approve Pearl Harbor. So, yeah, we can conceive of cases, and in fact, some of them are right in front of our eyes, uh, but uh, none of us approve of them. None of us. So if we don't approve of them in real cases, which are right in front of our eyes, uh, why discuss hypothetical cases that don't exist? I mean, we could do that in some philosophy seminar somewhere, but in the real world, there are real cases that ought to concern us not hypothetical ones that somebody can invent. And in fact, uh, the threat of uh, uh, terror and weapons of mass destruction is very severe, very severe. And the Bush administration, like the Clinton administration, uh, doesn't care about it. In fact, they are acting consciously in ways to increase the threat. Uh, 